Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to look at our interview with Richard Hinton, a very famous Foley artist that works on numerous famous documentaries, such as Our Planet. He is going to share what goes on day in the life of a Foley artist. He also talks about an experience where he noticed the sound of the rain and how does that link to similar thinking or daily thinking and just basically what goes on in the brain of a Foley artist. This is how real life works, a channel where we talk about all the things that the school doesn't teach you. What goes on in a day for you? Like, do you like start your days going through the projects or you get right into recording? Usually we get right into recording. Back in the day, people used to have a lot more money and budgets were good. So we would have budgeted time to watch through films before we were going to phone them, so we could do a prop list, work out what kind of things we're going to need for the session. These days, well, it's actually not so much money. It's usually edit times are really tight because people overrun on edits. So usually we're getting the pictures super late and we're super up against deadline for delivery. So we will literally come into the studio, have a cup of coffee. We may skim through very quickly uh, at double speed or just skim through it with the cursor just to see roughly what we're up against. Uh, and then we'll dive in and crack on with the recording. Do you ever catch yourself, say you're just doing daily activities outside and then suddenly there's you picked up a sound that you think is good for a certain foley thing in a in a dog. Do you like take a note down or try to memorize what that action was or find that source of sound? No, uh, yeah, all the time. All the time. Because sound is constant, you know, even if you're living in the middle of nowhere, there's sounds form of sound. And and you know, it's it's what you take a lot of inspiration from is is just random things that happen around you i mean actually it's quite a good example we broke for lunch today and it it was quite a nice day so we thought well let's just go what we live we were lucky enough to work literally right in the middle of the countryside we've got an old old barn that we've converted in the middle of the countryside so we thought we'd go for a walk down the lane a nice day and as we sort of turned out of the gate of our facility we noticed there was some big black clouds on the horizon and it was like, oh, I can hear the wind in the trees. And we realized, oh, that's not wind, that's rain on the trees. And then all of a sudden you could see this deluge of rain slowly sweeping across um, the fields towards us. And you physically hear it in the trees. And then you could hear the rain moving towards you. And again, that's the sound that's now in my mind. And it was really interesting. And the thing is, if I do that sound on a film, people will probably think it's completely hyped and not realistic because it felt so unreal and it's so unnatural to see rain move towards you in that way. It's, you know, it doesn't happen very often. Usually you get a few spots in a downpour, you know, when you're experiencing rain, it's either raining or not really, isn't it? Or, but to see it physically moving towards you as a big deluge and hearing that sound move towards you, it's, it was kind of an interesting concept. And uh, that's something that hopefully I will, even if it's not, in a, for that exact thing, that's the sound that I would kind of like to try and recreate somehow for something, because it was quite interesting in its own right. But um, it probably won't be for a rainstorm moving that way, because nobody would believe the sound if I did that. Because people... Yeah, it, it was a weird one to get your head around, but it was quite they've, they've in, incredible. They've never heard of it. Brief answer, yeah, all the time. You're always hearing stuff and you think, oh, I must, must log that, I must remember that, that was interesting that texture on that piece of cloth or that texture on that piece of plastic or metal or that object, you know, that's an interesting sound and that's a usable thing for such and such and such and such. So you're constantly thinking of stuff. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Are there other jobs out there that you want to see day in the life of? Tell us in the comment section below and we will try to interview those people so you can take a peek at their daily lives. If you're in high school and you want to start your own YouTube channel and your own podcast, but you're not sure how to start, you can click the link below and join our internship program. This is a program where you get to learn about video creation, audio creation, SEO, copywriting, and all the good things that you can use to use on your channel and get started. Last but not least, if you like this content, be sure to turn on the notification bell on top and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.